Okay, now we're on section 7.2, the quadratic formula. And I'm not going to read this word for word, but I have it written out so you have it on the PDF. So you can read through it again if you want to. But the basic idea is this. You're going to have an, a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And you're going to want to solve it. And when you solve it, you'll get something with this formula on the right side here, which is called the, called the quadratic formula. Remember, we had a quadratic function. We had a quadratic equation. That's this. Quadratic function has like a y or f of x there. Quadratic equation is this. This is a quadratic formula. It's a formula for finding the solutions to this. So that you don't, basically, it's just, it's a shortcut for completing the square and solving. Okay, if you completed the square and then solve for x from here, you would get exactly this. It's just usually we know what a, b, and c are. So we don't end up with something looking like this. We just, as we go, the numbers, we combine the numbers together and simplify as we go usually. Okay, but here, the way this is derived, this formula, is you just complete the square on this and it gives you this. And I, did, I was going through this previous, in previous uh, semesters and I just decided well, as long as they know this comes from completing the square, um, I mean, you could try to go through it yourself. Maybe that's a good exercise, but I know they do it in the book. You can read that if you want, but I don't know that you get too much out of me doing it at this level of a course. But it's kind of a proof that, that these are solutions of this. Actually, the real proof is you plug these numbers in, but that would be kind of complicated, as you could tell, in an abstract form like this. Okay, so that's all there is on that page. So I'm not going to say much more about it. You can read the whole thing there if you want. 